Hello, in this video I want to show you how to import data from Microsoft Excel via the CSV comma separated values format into TLEX. Assume we have entries in Excel where each column is assigned to a particular field. So for the example in front of us, column A is the head word, column B is the part of speech, Column C is a definition, column D is a translation equivalent for a bilingual dictionary, and column E is a usage example. We can bring these entries into TLEX in one go. Step one is to save the data that you have in Excel. Select Save As, and under Save As Type, select CSV, comma delimited. Uh, or comma separated values. Uh, if you get a warning just click OK. This saves your Excel data into a special text-based format where uh, each row is output as a single line of the text file and each value uh, for each column is separated by a comma. Uh, you don't need to know or understand how the CSV file is saved though. Uh, we just need to uh, know how to load that directly into TLEX. Uh, so the next step, if we go to TLEX, is to select File, New, Start a New Dictionary Project. Uh, I'm just going to click OK and then we select file import word list or csv comma separated values warning yes uh, then we select our comma separated values file we may have to select it from the type over here and we say open this pops up the import word list or csv dialog in order to import CSV, we have to tick Enable Multi-Field Text File Options, e.g. comma separated values. Uh, then we have to tell TLEX which columns uh, in our original spreadsheet are assigned to which fields in TLEX. So we have a list of the fields available in the default uh, TLEX DTD. Uh, if the data type that you want to import isn't there in the default DTD, it is possible to create it, but that is slightly more advanced. That's a topic for another video. Right, we have five columns. Column A, a head word. Column B, the part of speech. Column C, a definition. Uh, we can select the, the head word, the lemma sign. By selecting from the list on the left here, and adding to the list on the right, we are assigning columns to field. Column 1 is the lemma sign. Column 2 is the part of speech. Column 3 is a definition. Column 4 is a translation equivalent. And column 5 is a usage example. Uh, let's check some of the other Mark imported entries as incomplete. Uh, see the video on the incomplete flag if you want to understand what that does. Uh, this is if we already have existing data, um, we can mark the imported entries with the incomplete flag that allows us to find them again easily later. For the moment, I'm not interested in that. Uh, always create new entries. Uh, okay, let's uh, always create new entries. Uh, in this case, yeah, that will force it to always create one entry per line. Okay, up to six rows will be imported. Yes, number of entries imported, six. And voila, we have uh, our six entries have been imported. They are automatically sorted alphabetically. Uh, appropriate homonym numbers have automatically been added in case the where there are homonyms and in cases where data was absent 
it is simply uh, skipped over or missing in the resulting entries. Perfect.